Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing the uh, network nodes which are used in the GSM system. So there are basically three different types of network nodes which are uh, there in the GSM. So the very first one is the base station system. That is we have the BSS. Then you have the switching system SS. And finally you have the mobile station that is the SS. So uh, first of all, let's start with what is the BS system that is the base station system. So uh, basically the role of BSS is to handle the traffic between the mobile phone and the NSS. NSS is the network switching system. So basically we all have uh, mobile phones will be communicating with other mobile users or other mobile subscribers. So uh, that basically the call function routing and all the handling management is done by this BSS. Then now BSS has got two components. So the very first one is called as the base trans receiver station BTS and its role is for communication between the mobile and the network and it uh, enhances one at a time. So like one mobile user can uh, communicate once at a time. So uh, multiple communication is not possible in this and it has got some main components. So it includes a transceiver TRX, power amplifier PA a combiner, duplexer, antenna, alarm extension system, control function and baseband receiver unit represented by capital uh, BB and XX. XS is for the version so as and when the version changes uh, the value goes on uh, changing. Next we have the BSC that is the base station controller. Uh, if you have a trans receiver station somebody should be there in order to control it. So in order to uh, provide that you have the base station controller which is the BSC and it controls the number of BTSs and the main functionality of it includes the radio network management, BTS handover management and call setup. So uh, every time when you make or initiate a call this is handled by the BSC. Next you have the switching system. So this is a second layer. This is a first layer, second layer and third layer. So when we move on to the second layer, we have the switching system, which is uh, short named as SS. And its role is for switching of calls between a mobile and other mobile users. And it provides a certain level of authentication because it has got certain kind of databases which are used for temporary storage as well as for permanent storage. We'll be seeing what are the different databases included in it. So uh, for time being uh, it's been uh, comprised of the mobile switching center MSC and the role is for routing of the voice calls and other SMS that is so short messaging service and then you have the conference calls all the fax, facsimile, the circuit switch data and then uh, it has a unique ID which manages all the registration, authentication and the location updation, uh, your GPS and all it tracks and handovers and call routing etc. So everything is handled. So uh, mainly the switching between different uh, mobile services, uh, SMS service, your data service, everything is handled in MSC. Then you have the visitor location register VLR. It's a temporary database and stores information about the mobile subscribers when roaming in a new MSC area. So whenever one mobile uh, user or one mobile subscriber moves from one base station to another base station, the MSC uh, there changes. So whenever a user moves on to the next MSC or a new MSC uh, from its home MSC, this comes into picture and stores the current information uh, like it's a runtime information which it stores. Uh, next we have the home location register which is HLR. It stores information of subscriber at the uh, PLMN. PLMN is a uh, public LAN mobile network. So PLMN is nothing but your cellular carrier which you have the IDEA, BSNL, Vodafone, Airtel and all. Uh, those are basically PLMNs and the uh, major functionality includes the service profile, location info services and uh, subscriber identification. Next we have the authentication center which is again a database short named as AUC and it has got a particular secret key uh, which is being assigned to the user's SIM card. So SIM card everyone might, uh, might be knowing it's a small kind of a chip uh, which stores uh, information uh, regarding uh, each user's profile and it has got uh, the calling facility and data facility everything. So uh, whenever a relevant SIM card is uh, put into a, a mobile equipment it will be giving you the functionality or the all the mobile services would be granted to you. 
So basically the functionality includes authentication and encoding of the radio channel and then you have the equipment identity register which is called as EIR and it stores information about the IMEI that is international mobile equipment identity so whenever uh, you purchase a mobile phone you get uh, IMEI associated with it so whenever it's a dual phone you get uh, two IMEIs IMEI 1 and IMEI 2 so it helps you to uh, track back the lost or the stolen phones. Uh, next coming on to the third layer you get the mobile station that is the MS so it's nothing but your smartphone which you have your Android phone your iOS iPhone everything comes in this so it basically has got the mobile equipment mobile equipment is basically your device which you use to communicate and has got three uh, different components that is the terminal equipment TE so uh, it provides service oriented functions uh, like uh, facsimile your fax and then you have the mobile terminal it facilitates transmission and reception of uh, information and to the uh, other mobile subscribers and then you have the terminal adapter which just uh, fits in between and uh, used for encoding and decoding of the information messages next you have the vital important thing that is you have the subscriber identity model you have the sim card so without sim card you cannot make a call so it's a portable chip size small card which is used to personalize your mobile equipment identity so uh, users have the uh, right to choose their uh, sim card whether uh, if you want to buy an AT&T or Airtel or Vodafone anything like that uh, it's up to user uh, which uh, as a, a sim you can purchase and then you have the OMC that is the operation and maintenance center so it basically monitors all the equipments or all the components uh, inside the GSM system you have the MS it monitors the MS monitors the BS monitors BSC, MSC and it uh, manages some kind of certain charges and the billing which the uh, user might be getting if he is a prepaid or a postpaid user. Then uh, you have the public line mobile network uh, like I have spoken here PLMN. Uh, it is a recognized operating agency ROA uh, which has uh, two components basically MCC mobile country code and mobile network code. Mobile network code is your 10 digit number and MCC your country code or it's like plus four nine or plus nine one plus nine two something like that so uh, it's basically the uh, organized agency of that particular area uh, which facilitates the uh, mobile communication like you have Airtel, Vodafone and Geo, uh, at and and all so that comes into this uh, PLMN then finally you have the GMSC that is the Gateway Mobile Service Switching Center so it's uh, nothing but a uh, gateway which is used for interconnecting GSM and other networks so whenever uh, first in uh, GMSC whenever a call comes into this GSM system first at the very first in instinct it is being routed to uh, the GMSC and then GMSC sends that or it finds into uh, which part of the uh, GSM is called into the HLR and then it forwards uh, the call and then does the switching uh, further. So well that was all regarding the uh, nodes or the network nodes which are there in the GSM system. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and got educated by watching this video. Please do like, share, comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.